shore power at the Port of Oakland is slashing diesel emissions. About 74% of container ships recently visiting Oakland cut their auxiliary diesel engines while docked by plugging into the landside power grid built just for this purpose. The result? Tons of diesel particulate exhaust per year are kept out of the sky. Here at Oakland International Container Terminal, we've been plugging in ships for six years now. When we first got started, we were plugging in maybe one or two ships a week, and now we're plugging in anywhere from 15 to 20 ships. The uh, plug is a lot like plugging in an appliance at home, except the difference being there's two plugs, and the plugs are a lot larger. Three inches in diameter is the cord, and the plug itself is about a foot and a half by eight inches. It's uh, 6,600 volts going directly to the ship, and it powers the generator, but normally would be powered by the generator refrigeration units, the house of the vessel, and all the lighting and everything that's inside the ship. How does it work? Every time a ship plugs in, we're getting a huge reduction in diesel emissions here in the port. Container ships are the largest source of diesel exhaust at the Oakland Seaport. Thanks to the port and its partners, ship diesel emissions have declined 80% since 2005. Together, we're making progress and we are going to reduce vessel emissions even more. The Port of Oakland has been working with shipping lines to accelerate the rate of shore power adoption. It takes millions of dollars to do this and the cooperation and coordination of multiple partners, ocean carriers and their vessel crew, harbor pilots who position 1,200 foot long vessels precisely alongside shore power vaults, marine terminal operators, terminal mechanics to do the heavy lifting of connecting ships to the grid, and port technicians. Container shipping lines, routinely calling California ports, are required to plug in at least 70% of their vessels. At the Port of Oakland, we are working to achieve 90% of the vessels plugging into shoreside power by 2020, so we can all breathe a little easier. <laughs>